Welcome back to the writer's room. In celebration of Halloween Redux, we are talking about the goriest movies ever made. That's right. That was Blood. so news. <laughs> Tonight at 9, the we are talking way. about the goriest movies yeah. ever. ever made. Oh, the poop wiener. <laughs> got a poop wiener. This guy's got... Bombay clot. Welcome back to the writer's room. On today's episode, we are talking about the goriest movies ever made. Yeah. I'm Michael. I'm Katie. I'm Grisalia. And I'm Matt, and we're coming to you from HollywoodRedux.com. That's right. Yeah. And this month, we are celebrating Halloween Redux. Ooh. That's a very queued up timing on the fog. Yes, and th uh, thank you. Thank we you. are doing <laughs> all things Halloween, so extra gory shows. This is technically the last week of Halloween Redux, and our competition competition our giveaway, giveaway is ending on friday that's right so if you guys have not entered click the link in the description Do below it's to see how stuff. you could win a bunch of t-shirts blu-rays a bunch of fun stuff we're giving away that's so right. be sure to check out previous episodes where we actually have shown some of the stuff we're giving away mm -hmm. and uh you know see what Trust you could win i've seen it it's cool it's good times <laughs> it's good times here in the studio we have too much free stuff that we want to give away. So please check the link yep. in the description. Do it, guys. And see how you can win that stuff. But we're talking about the goriest movies ever made. And we're going to kind of actually cheat a little bit and talk about some of the goriest scenes we've ever seen. Because, I mean, we're gonna you know, cover more gor ground. Yeah, goriest yeah. movies, we already know. Evil Dead is going to be on there. Yeah, Suspiria, like, like the usual. Zombie movies, you know, George Romero stuff. Like, uh -huh. all that stuff is gory. And then you could also say, like, Walking Dead. But we're going to spread it out a little bit more to, uh, you know, Certain scenes, you know. I'm going to throw it out there and say Battle Royale. Battle Royale. Uh, yeah. Japanese yeah, yeah, yeah. version of it. Because, man, talk about gore from beginning to end, guys. It's all little kids. It's all kids. It makes it <laughs> so much more fucked up. God. Yeah. And, uh, this, was the, this was the precursor to the Hunger Games. Right? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Oh. There's a For film. Those? It goes yeah. back to... So, I'm yeah. not going to spoil much, but if you haven't seen it, please watch, because it, it, is, it is a good movie to watch. It's like what Hunger Games wants to be when yeah. it grows up. Yeah, and, like, I mean, gets an R rating. It's, it's beginning <laughs> to end. Yeah, Hunger Games ripped it off completely. Oh, um, but it's if like you, a Hunger <laughs> Games as envisioned by the director of Red Dawn. Yeah, if you guys are... Uh, <laughs> Amelius, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. If, if you guys are, um, you know, ever seeing... Your, if you ever are watching, like, the Hunger Games, and you're going... Man, I just wish this wasn't PG-13. I wish this could be, like, super gory, kind of like the books. With practical oh, yeah. uh, jump you know, Battle Royale effects. Then, you know, check out Battle Royale there and uh, be horrified of children for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> and it's then let's chat up. about it, because it is messed up. Yeah. <laughs> it is messed up. It is very messed up. Oh, man. One of my favorite movies of all time, um, The Shining. The yes. elevator scene. Yes. Uh, we had a great conversation about this, actually, yeah. because you said that to me, and I said, well, it's not really that gory, and you said it it's has a the hallway most blood. It's probably the most blood ever, ever used outside of, like, Evil Dead, which even Evil uh -huh. Dead stuff, like, they were trying to avoid, like, an NC-17 type rating, and so they were using, like, purple and green mm, and all uh -huh. sorts of different colors, so, like, <laughs> it is a very gory movie. Um, you know, I think the goriest scene in The Shining, for me, is not even involve blood at all. It's that sequence with the old woman in the bathroom yeah. that is the scariest, the, uh. the dark heart of the movie. <laughs> like the, the, that's, like, the center of the maze, <laughs> yeah. basically, in the yeah. hotel. And it's, it's like, so grotesque, but there's not even any blood. It's uh -huh. just the woman's body they, yeah. and yeah. how close you are and just the it's way it's shot. It's all waterlogged and it's, green. It's yeah. Like, how it's filmed is so uh, so um, claustrophobic. You do mm -hmm. feel it's a bad dream. You're you're not able to move. You're paralyzed. Yeah, and I think it's because, it. because they use the slow-mo there, you know? Yeah. I think the slow-mo helped, like, just build that tension because everything moves so slow. Absolutely. That it was, like, supernatural, and that also made you just feel like you were just planted and you couldn't run away. You Uncomfortable. Know? Yeah. The whole time you're going like, Jack, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get run, out of there. Run. The hell yeah. out of here. And also, you know, from The Shining, it's not like that gory, but I remember that, like, that affected, it always affects me more than, like, the hallway with the elevator with all the blood, mm -hmm. is uh, when <laughs> when he gets the axe in the chest, you know. Um, Scatman. Well, Scatman Crothers yeah. gets oh. the axe in the, in the um, Poor Scatman. In the chest. Like, that is, like, so horrifying to me because every time I'm just like, oh, the axe. Like, <laughs> you see it all the time in like zombie stuff or whatever, and it's yeah. happening to zombies. But like, I always feel like when I see that, I'm just like, oh my god, <laughs> your entire chest just caved in on something. Like that's yeah. horrible. That that scene yeah. always bums me out 
uh, because Scatman had to work so hard to get there. Kubrick right? did a really good job oh of putting all these obstacles in Scatman's path to get yeah, back to the Yeah, he had to, to get out there from <laughs> Miami. And, and, and then immediately upon arrival, he finally makes it up there. He has a snowcat. He gets to the hotel and immediately Hello? just takes an axe right to the attic. Yeah! <laughs> Out. Done. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty fucked up. Ouch. Uh, Speaking of axe, <laughs> I do want to throw out uh, American Psycho. Oh, uh, boy, that's a that bloodbath, that movie. The, exactly. And the, the book well is even <laughs> worse, if you I, can believe Katie it. Katie just oh, nailed it. Brett Easton Ellis. Bath. Yeah, it's based on a Brett Easton Ellis book. That Gotta admit something, guys. It's quite gory. I've never seen it. What? Uh, Mikey. It's a classic Mikey. of, of uh, the that oh, previous Mikey. generation of filmmakers. Uh, Dude, you I'm, gotta not, like. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Mikey, you <laughs> have to watch this movie. It is so good. It, Christian Bale. Okay. Dude, terrifying. Uh-huh. What are you doing? Sorry. <laughs> I can't say Christian Bale anymore without thinking about that Terminator <laughs> Salvation thing. Aww. It's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. <laughs> it was in the past. We've all moved on. <laughs> but, oh, man, I I think, you know, like, my one of my favorite horror movies that I don't talk about enough is Dead Alive, Peter Jackson's. Uh, and that movie is so gory. It may be the goriest movie of all time. I don't know. I've never seen that one either. It's okay because it's like a New Zealand film. It doesn't really, it didn't really have like a huge release, so like it is kind of hard to. I mean, you can buy the Blu-rays now, whatever. But like in the past, it was hard to find because uh-huh. um, it was also in New Zealand. It was called uh, Brain Dead, and here it's called I Dead Alive. So uh-huh. it's cool. different. So yeah. because it was a comedy, but mm-hmm. Brain Dead isn't okay. scary enough in the states. So it was Dead Alive. Yeah, no, so. it sounds like a comedy. <laughs> Yeah, so, and it is. I mean, it's really funny. I mean, the demon baby that's uh, there that he, you know, I mean, yeah. just the scene where everybody's eating and the guy is rotting so much that he sticks the spoon straight through the back of his head. Like, it's so great. And then they have, like, sex and they have, like, a demon. Ba- it's f- it's brilliant. Not only, like, that, but, like, the great jokes, like, the priest who kicks ass for the Lord and, like, his roundhouse that. kicking off heads and shit. Like, it's brilliant. But at the end of the movie, all the zombies, basically this whole town turns into, like, the dead, and they're uh-huh. coming into this kid's house. And he fires up a uh, fucking lawnmower, and he says, party's over. And he just runs into this, like, horde of zombies, basically. And it's just... Like a bad <laughs> oh. And it just literally looks like somebody has a fire hose on the other side of that thing, just hitting it with blood. And he's just... Oh. And there's awesome. just, like, arms dropping I mean... and legs dropping. He's, like, slipping on the blood and stuff. And he actually gets to the point where he can't get it started again. He turns it off, and somebody's coming at him. There's so much blood that he starts to turn around and try to run, and he's running in place because he's slipping on the wet blood. He's like... Ah. It's like an old Laurel and Hardy joke. those guys on set had a blast. Like, oh, throwing yeah. blood everywhere, oh like, for gosh. sure. Oh, dead alive. Oh. I need to see that. Peter Jackson, outside of Lord of the Rings, Peter Jackson's best. Awesome. That's and even awesome. Frighteners. It, Frighteners was pretty uh-huh. gory, too, that uh, Peter Jackson did. Yeah, I, I was going to give a, a nod to the whole Saw franchise. Yeah, that's pretty gross. It's pretty gross all that's throughout. That's a good one, actually. But definitely, yeah. like, I think it was in the third or fourth one. I, I can't remember yeah. exactly. Someone had oh. their <laughs> Achilles I might plug my ears and hum. Like, cut. <laughs> And oh yeah, that's like a no for me. Yeah, that's, that's like, like that's fuck. like no. <laughs> that happened in. Uh, you could also say the uh, Hostel franchise is pretty oh, gory. Oh yeah, the Hostel. Yeah, um, you know they that's... did that in Hostel too. Oh. In that first one, it's like, oh yeah, you can leave. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, 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 body parts, man. Usually well, it's gory. not fair. Anything from the torture porn oeuvre. Yeah, it's yeah. Not fair. I mean, and trying to. You could really say any Eli Roth movie is is pretty damn gory. Like Cabin yeah. Fever, like shaving the legs and. Just, you know, that's gross. Nasty. Yeah. Was Nobody even... else has seen that, I guess, here. <laughs> You're judging by those reactions. <laughs> Let me know what you think about Cabin Fever. I like you, Eli. Don't. I, would right. like to throw... I don't like Eli Roth. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to throw into the mix uh, Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods is good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cabin in the Woods. That's, that's a great Especially dark comedy, too. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. got a lot of... A lot of, a lot of Reed, times, man. the Again, humor goes with the gore. Blood. Do you notice? Everywhere. Here's <laughs> like, All right, I'm going to bring back help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My favorite is when the uh, what's his name gets eaten by the mermaid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So when he gets eaten, it's like, like I love it because he's just like, no fucking way. Like right before he dies, he's like uh, unbelievable. Like that's one of the best Whedon ironies I think of all time. <laughs> yeah. Well, that whole ending is so out of left field from the rest of the movie. Yeah. That it's just like, whoa. What? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. 
God. I mean, you could also talk about, like, I mean, not just necessarily horror movies, even though that's kind of our theme for Halloween Redux, but, like, Saving Private Ryan. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You know, you got the entire Normandy, storming of Normandy yeah. beach sequence that starts it off, and it's just gory as hell. There's people yeah, putting up. their guts back in there. Yeah. You know? Picking up yeah. their arm. And, I mean, you we can always say, like, we can kind of, like, bundle all the, I think, horror franchises in a whole. Uh-huh. I mean, there is some amazing deaths, though, throughout you know, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street series, yes. Friday, the 13th. Uh, Friday the yep. 13th. I mean, you get, somebody just gets cut in half <laughs> with a fucking machete in Friday the 13th. You know, there's uh, amazing tricks with gore and stuff in, in Nightmare on Elm Street series because yeah. you've got, like, the insane, the like, the sequels, which weren't, you know, as good, but, like, you have, like, like I mean, Johnny Depp, for instance, gets totally fucking pulled into his bed and then it yeah. becomes a giant fucking blood puddle where it's like the coroner's in the bathroom throwing up. Like, <laughs> it's like one of my favorite lines. And, uh, you know, I mean, and you also have, uh, like, Scream yeah. franchise yeah, absolutely. is also a really gory one. I mean, a lot of the film franchise, horror franchises are pretty damn gory. Yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of a given. Yeah. Pretty much. You know. That's I mean, why we opened it up to... Yeah. Other aspects. You also have, like, Reservoir Dogs. Yes. Yeah, I mean, Quentin Tarantino Quentin. does blood in a like, way that's, like... Glorious Bastards. My yeah. dude. Insanely oh, glorious. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Tarantino. But, I uh, like your gore, though, Tarantino. We've been, on the K-Files, we've been doing the goriest episodes of the yeah. X-Files, and it is quite a... Nasty <laughs> shit in there. The, uh, the ultimate, a lot of though, stuff. we haven't even done the ultimate. We've been doing dipping around and doing the bloodiest episodes. The goriest moment on the entire run of the X-Files has got to be the eighth season Billy Miles skin shower. And oh. if you haven't seen it, which I don't think you guys have, it involves a character who is like super swollen, like his skin is like extremely like puffed up and swollen, Already don't like, like grotesque, it. from being from drowning, like he's in, got oh. a bunch of water. He gets up from the hospital bed, pulls all the wires out, gets into the shower, and as he showers, his skin starts sloughing off, and you just it, eventually you just get down to the drain of the shower, and it's just like like skin just like sliding down to the drain it's like bloody and skin parts and it is just a horror show and uh, oh, I don't, I don't, like I don't know that there's ever been a movie I've seen that has grossed me out as much as the Billy Miles skin shower. Part of wow. me wants to watch it, part of me doesn't. That's so, disgusting. Like, yeah, that's and terrifying. I believe that's going to be part of your uh, shit you can't unsee. Shit you yeah. Can't yeah. It's going to be on that list, man. <laughs> it's, no, that's yeah. the king of that list. That oh. owns that list. I'm already uncomfortable, oh. and it was just a description, guys. But we've also been doing some episodes with cannibalism. Uh, that mm, was, that ooh, old that treat. Chicken, Cannibal Holocaust. That's right. Yeah. Oy, that was Wait. horrifying. I'm so uh, glad and that then tied in. Sangu- finally. Sanguinarium we just did, which is like plastic surgery Please gore. Steal. Like the, sweet like if, you're, if your plastic surgeon went psycho while operating on you and instead of doing like rhinoplasty or whatever, they started just turning the devices <laughs> on your flesh. That's what that episode's about. The laser through horrifying. the cheek. Yeah. So oh yeah. Up. Laser just through his cheek. All the way through. At one I mean, point, the guy cuts his own face off, like it's just like <laughs> oh, a face yeah. lying on a tray. Oh, and then you've got like uh, you know the Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, yeah. um, series, Night of the Living Dead, Reanimator, yeah. great things. Um, you know, I mean, just so many great horror franchises with gore, and then some that don't usually do too much gore. Like, I mean, you could look at, um, you know, it didn't do too much gore. Yeah. It, it was a lot of scary physical. You know stuff, mm-hmm. and you know so there's a lot of cool stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of gore in movies, and we barely scratched the surface. But um, you know, we're all out of time for this week. So for the writers' room, I'm Matt. You can follow me at Splashdown One on all social media. I'm Crisali. You can find me at Crisali on all social medias. I'm Katie. I'm at Kmoles. I am Michael. I'm at What the Hess. And we're coming to you from HollywoodRedux.com, where we are still celebrating for the rest of this week. Halloween Redux. And you want to be sure to check us out next week because we're doing all of our giveaways. We're announcing some winners. That's right. And we're giving away a ton of free stuff. we got some more fun stuff. We'll probably be in costume for Halloween night. <sighs> hmm, so maybe, please probably. join us for that. So check the link in the description below for how you can join and yeah. enter to win some of those free prizes. That's right. Cool stuff, guys. I'm telling you. Yeah. Trust me. And we'll see you next week. Be sure to check out our other shows like the K-Files and the IGL podcast. We're also enjoying Halloween Redux this month. That's yep. Right. And uh, we will see you next time. Be sure to comment in the section below. Let us know if we missed any of the goriest movies or what your goriest movies uh, you've ever seen or even scenes. Uh, And we'd be happy to uh, talk to you. So we will talk to you later. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.